you're moving it on a, on a train that's going 180 miles per hour and we had to stay on their schedule. So that means, you know, you couldn't stop and say, wait a second, we're going to back up. And every time we got into a station, we were only there for however long it would be, eight minutes or 30 minutes at that station. And of course, we would want to jump off with the camera and get some get some shots of that station and then jump back on with the camera. So it took a lot of, there was quite a bit of planning in it. Um, and uh, even even at the beginning when we started out in Amsterdam, uh, we only had, uh, we had about a two and a half page scene and we had about an hour and a half to shoot it on the platform. And then it, like everything, I mean, we were rolling cameras as we jumped on the train and we took off and was on to the next destination. When they were shooting the scene, you knew it was so real. And after they cut, um, Isabella had an emotional breakdown that we had to stop for a minute. And uh, when it started back on, on the camera, it, it camera captured every second of that. And so you know it, it was something, uh, something tough for them to live again, but very, very special for filmmakers. He tries to make films as real as possible and and put everything on the screen and in and his ideas and what he does you know he takes still at 87 he, you know he's out there taking chances you know which a lot of people uh, you know have done uh, in, you know have done it for 63 years aren't going to do that you know they're not they're not reinventing the wheel but Clint's always doing that his performance and his attitude and and his willingness to learn and, and continue uh, and he could go on with an acting career if he wanted to. You know, it just did. He was, he was very devoted, um, and, and he is exactly who you see in the film. They, you know, almost canceled that train ride because they weren't sure they wanted to go to France, and they finally said, you know what? We're supposed to be on that train, basically, and we're supposed to be in France. They didn't know why, but, but they went, even though they really didn't want to go at the time. And, uh, and uh, like you say, thank God they went.